I put the shutter back on, or the shutter that I made back on, just the standard shutter. And I'm about to thread a short test film. This is an old damaged print, so it might possibly snap as we're projecting it. Just a temporary cardboard screen there. Uh, and we'll see the three or four little pieces of uh, early film on there. I won't show all of it. And I'm going to hand crank it because we just want to see what the image looks like basically. I want to have full control over the speed and stuff so I'm going to hand crank it for the first test. That means the motor won't be switched on so we won't have a take up. So the film will actually come through here. Um, I'll make a paper shoot and then we'll collect it in the basket as was often the case with very early films. Uh, during the first film shows, but um, we'll see what happens on the screen. It'll be kind of interesting just to see how this projector stands up. Now we've changed the oil and polished everything up pretty much, so um, it seems to be okay. So we're about to find out. So the film's threaded. And it's going under the lamp house, over that paper shoot, and hopefully into the wicker bin. Let's just see if that's mechanically working. Yes, it is. First of all, projector lamp switched on. Now lights out. Let's see what oh that's interesting, okay. Well we've got an image. It's a pillow fight in a girl's dormitory, but um we're out of rack, so I've got to re-thread the gate. This is the Lumiere film from 1895. Some focus. Very steady picture. I'm very happy with that. I'm now fitting the leather drive belt and um, this is a fairly narrow belt so it's quite difficult to join it and I've joined it temporarily with some copper wire but that will need to be a wire st a steel staple or bookbinder's thread. The tachometer has just arrived so let's get this bit out of the bag. Oh, that's the magnet there. That's the Hall Effect unit. Let's 
pretty solid. And that's the reader, of course. The reader. So now I've got to find that power supply that I've got somewhere tucked away and um, get this thing wired up. And also decide where that magnet's going on the revolving shafts or the gears or whatever. <laughs> 